Alright, so it's GT Day yesterday in the Dauphiné, so let's go over some of the nice looking bikes. So we've got Garen as well, Champ's bike, he's got the classic Gamma setup, GP5000's front and rear, the STR ones. Um, he's got Princeton Carbon Work front and rear wheels as well. Um, nothing too crazy, to be honest, running 2x58 tooth, I believe. Um, pretty standard Gamma stuff, apparently there's a new Pinarello bike turning up. You can see here, a little ball cage as well, which is interesting. Um, I don't know, I guess it's more aero, but um, I'm not really sure why. Then we look at Wout Van Aert, again, a very good TT position. Um, a bit more aggressive than Gano, like for, sort of a bit lower, uh, but helmet fits nicely as well. You can again see you running a two by, which is not ideal, uh, and no bottle cage as well, which isn't interesting. Um, both Ineos and Yumbo obviously have a lot of money on the time trial, so you've seen both of them are quicker. We now get to see someone who's obviously not a time trialist, has the vision bars that are okay, but they don't look great. He's just got his head down, you know, looking lean, but you know, um, nice wheels to be fair. GT Swiss wheel, wheels supposed to be really quick, but again, not a great position and obviously not a time trialist. We can see Jan Backlands again, we'll skip through him. Ethan Hayter lost his visor, said he couldn't see much, but he did a really good time yesterday. Um, actually only a couple seconds, I think 17 seconds back on Ghana, as well as being close to Wat Van Aert, of course. Um, he is a very similar setup again, um, basically identical. Um, position really nice, no integrated bars though, just standard bars, which I think is interesting. You can see Tal Gagan Hart again, he has the same stuff. He is like USC, just standard bars, nothing special. His position is basically just look straight down. Jonas Vingegaard, I think, has one of the nicest positions around. It's actually something that only really small riders can do because he's a, he can have enough stack sorry, enough reach that he basically can get his hands really long and then shrug his head backwards. It's similar to what you'll see with Dan Bingham in a way with the Pock Tempors. Uh, but again, it's a really nice position. He goes super, super quick um, for such a small guy, like 58 kilos, and he's one of the best time trialists, you know, in the stage race, one of the best around. Um, you know, he averaged 51k an hour on this TT, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so yeah, then we got Johanna Yuso again, a super good TT um, from him. His hip angle is looking outrageously cute. I would like to see one, some 165mm cranks. This is a new Colnago uh, TT bike. You can't see it here, but has some drop seat stays here. You can sort of see it just about there, but they're pretty dropped. Again, here's the data integrated bar and stem sort of combination. Um, they look okay, like not, not unbelievable, but um, the position again, head super low to the hands, which is good to see. Deep section bore front wheel. I'm pretty sure that'll be tubeless. I think the rear, they don't make a uh, campy tubeless rear disc. Again, he'll be on Vittoria. Mm, I think Vittoria tires. Um, Roglic, again, super nice position. You know, they all, all the younger boys, they all go to Leuven um, University uh, wind tunnel there um, and they will whack it. Again, the wheels, they are badged as reserve, but I don't think they are. The front one might be reserve, which is a Cervelo sort of subsidiary. Um, the rear one, I'm almost certain, um, is a Roval 432 or 321 or whatever they're called, that the Roval one, which is tubeless ready. Again, um, two by, which is always interesting, but we'll see if we get a picture of Brandon McNulty in a bit. Matteo Jorgensen, um, sometimes good on the TT, not great today. You can see he's got, actually got a wax chain. Um, if you want a wax chain, super cheap, link below um, to my own wax chains. Uh, but yeah, SRAM issues are, their chains are really slow. So they have to make sure they're waxed at all times, otherwise they're just losing so many watts. SRAM chains about two to five watts slower, these the sort of square link ones, um, and hence why if anyone on the, chooses to buy them, they are donkeys. Again, uh, decently deep front wheel, you know, 78 mil, um, nothing too special here. The new, is this, this is the new Canyon bike. I don't think you can actually buy it, the UCI version, you can only buy the, the um, time trial version. But again, decent position, nothing crazy. Got the, the Abus helmet, which apparently is not too bad, but I don't think it's great. It sort of just depends on the person. Here's David Godou. He's got a lot better time trialing. Okay, he lost two minutes today, but it wasn't actually that horrendous. Again, all the FDJ riders have got the nice bars. They've really invested in uh, their time trialing recently. Well, not recently, for quite a number of years, and they've got significantly better. And I think it goes to show if you actually pay pay the money uh, for the good sports scientists and good aero engineers, then you can actually get some really good results here. Obviously, we're not getting a good, good picture. I don't really know what they're all doing. But anyway, again, more Wout Van Aert. Um, here is Kevin Vermark, who had an, uh, just an average TT, nothing crazy. Again, just Scott Helmet, sunglasses as well. There's Ganna. Um, and I think that is all the photos for the day. Um, we, I'm just going to see if we can see Brandon McNulty because what happened with Brandon McNulty actually was that I'm pretty sure he was running a one by and his chain fell off. So um, if we look uh, at Brandon McNulty, where is it? Um, because yeah, he actually did not do well. 
because obviously his chains fell off. But here we go, here he's got his two by, and I think he actually had a one by for it, and that's why it fell off, because otherwise it wouldn't have got stuck as much as it did. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not it's not necessarily what you think it would be. Um, but yeah, so again, he's got a similar position to IU, so a bit higher up. He normally does some stupid watts as well, like 460, 470 probably for this sort of effort. Um, but yeah, he, I think this might be an old photo maybe, because he's obviously not on the disc brake bike, which I used to was on. Um, and I could think maybe that again, that's why he didn't want to change his bike was because he wants, didn't want to be on this one, which is the slower bike, didn't have disc brakes, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, as well as probably having, you know, the, the two by here. I think it's a two by, or it could just be a chain ring catcher. Actually, yeah, yeah, look, there's no inner chain ring. You can see here he is running one by, but, um, obviously just with a chain catcher or something, or maybe it's a front neck. Anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.